Hello, I'm Sergeant Constable Detective Officer Peter Pisspot from Twat Valley Police. Assalamu alaikum. Now, it's been a busy few days for myself and my colleagues, as I'm sure you can appreciate. And I'd just like to take this opportunity to commend the impeccable behaviour of the thousands of warmongering, anti-Semitic, Britain-hating, peaceful pro-Hamas Islamists who took to the streets of London this weekend. A wonderfully vibrant showcase of London's fantastic diversity. As they waved their racist placards in the air and chanted death to all the Jews. As they shoved elderly poppy sellers around and chucked fireworks at the police. As they marched down the street dressed as genocidal Hamas terrorists. And myself and my fellow officers stood there doing absolutely nothing. It was clear for anyone to see that multiculturalism has been a huge success for this country. It was a privilege and an honour for me to have my photo taken with small children dressed up as Hamas terrorists, murderers and rapists. It all added to the tremendous spirit of fun and unity of the occasion. Was there anger amongst the terrorist sympathising Islamist Nazis that marched through London at the weekend? Of course there was. But that's to be expected when you consider the hundreds of years of colonial oppression to which they've been subjected at the hands of white bigots. Thankfully, these peaceful, culturally enriching pro-Hamas marches took the focus away from the usual traditions of remembrance over the armistice weekend, which are so often an excuse for white working class bigots, racists and Islamophobes to violently wear poppies, intimidatingly lay wreaths on memorials and wave their disgustingly offensive union flags in the air. I'm happy to say myself and my fellow officers clamped down hard on these probable EDF BMP National Front far-right poppy-wearing war dead commemorating scum. If I had my way, they'd all be locked up and deported. What was clear to me as I watched the peaceful pro-Hamas protesters draping Palestinian flags across British monuments and memorials is that they hold this country and its people in total contempt, which I can fully appreciate and understand. I mean, what has this country done for them, other than allow them to escape their own sewer of a country, giving them freedoms they never enjoyed before they came here, giving them employment opportunities, benefits, and priority access to social housing, and allowed them to play the victim at every opportunity, whilst their cousins were bombing children at a Manchester pop concert and stabbing a Tory MP to death outside his constituency surgery. These are just decent, peaceful people who happen to be full of hate and murderous intent, and we need to extend tolerance towards them and celebrate their wonderful contribution to our culture as they steadily turn this country into a vile hellhole. Assalamu alaikum, namaste, kumbaya.